Now, exactly three weeks have passed since the Seoul ferry capsized off the southwestern coast of Korea. Days have turned into weeks, but more than 30 people still remain unaccounted for. Now, for the uh, latest on the recovery operations and, of course, the ongoing investigations, we now connect live to our Kwon Soa at the News Center. Uh, Soa, so what are we learning of late? Well, Kanyang, recovery operations are in full swing on this Wednesday, as from today, tidal currents are going to be at their calmest for the next four days. Divers began with their search early this morning, and a few hours ago, a female body was recovered on the fourth floor of the ship. That means the number of missing now stands at 33, while 269 have been confirmed dead. The first search phase was completed on Tuesday when all 64 cabinets out of the total Total 111 that were thought to have held passengers were opened and searched through at least once. Now the cabins will be explored in detail, including bathrooms, storage rooms, and snack bars. Freight cars may also be searched. Now, out of concern for the rescue divers' health, more medical staff have been deployed at the accident site. This comes after a civilian diver died on Tuesday when he went into the rough water to install new guideline ropes to the fifth floor of the ship. To to help in the search for the dozens of bodies that remain unaccounted for. After about five minutes at a depth of about 25 meters, the 53-year-old lost communication with his fellow divers. The veteran diver was found unconscious and was transported by helicopter to the nearest hospital in Mokpo, but died soon after arriving. This is the first fatality among divers in the nearly three weeks of search and rescue operations. Officials are still trying to deter determine his existence exact cause of death. An x-ray of his chest showed no irregularities, but a scan to the head showed a buildup of air inside his skull. Well, so uh, um, that is yet another very sad twist uh, to this disaster. Uh, let's hope the remaining search operations are completed safely. Now, while the search for the missing continues, the investigations are also proceeding at a fast pace, right? That's right, Kanyang. But some are slowing down the investigations as people related to Yu byung -un, the former Sehmo Group chairman and practical owner of the Cheonghaejin Marine Company, which is the Sewolu Ferries operator, are not appearing in front of prosecutors for questioning. This includes Yu's second son, who is said to be abroad. He was given an ultimatum to appear before prosecutors this Thursday after failing to show up two times before. If he doesn't come in tomorrow, he may be forced into to the country with the help of the FBI, and Yu byung -un and his first son may be summoned first. Meanwhile, at the prosecutor's office in Incheon, the special investigation team questioned two out of seven key figures related to Yu throughout the night. This includes Pyeon gi -chun, the president of i one i Holdings, as well as Hemo Group president Ko chang -hwan, who are both suspected of irregular business practices. Prosecutors will decide soon whether they will issue an arrest warrant. Right, that's something that we'll keep a close eye on. Now, meanwhile, so uh, people in Korea were just wrapping up a long holiday weekend that, of course, included a Children's Day and Buddhist birthday. And, and we hear that many people chose to pay respects to the victims of the Seoul Ferry disaster by uh, visiting memorial altars uh, instead of going out for, to a park or whatnot. So uh, tell us more about that. Sure, Kanyang. At a group memorial altar set up in the city of Ansan, where most of the victims were from, visitors from all around the country came to pay their respects. Since it opened a week ago, the Ansan Memorial Hall has received more than 430,000 visitors, and a total of at least 1.4 million have visited one of the many memorial altars set up throughout the nation. Outside the mass memorial hall in Ansan, a row of parents of the young passengers that were on board of the ferry are continuing continuing their silent protest for a fifth day along with other citizens and organizations. They are holding up signs expressing their discontent with the government over its handling of tragedy as well as messages to their children that say, I miss you, sorry, and I love you. Now that's all I have for now from the News Center.